Hey guys, Adrian here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my tip for update 7.2. With Favnia now on the live server, many have been asking me, how do you counter this new robot? Here are three tips which have helped me to counter the Favnia. So number one, when on the ground, the Favnia has resistance. So it's kind of like the Fenrir. Be very careful of engaging at close range. Number two, never shoot a Favnia when it goes into flight. This is when its absorber shield is up for around five seconds. And during this period, any damage that is absorbed, uh, the Favnia's built-in weapon gets stronger. So what I've actually done here was I've shown you a clip of just how powerful this built-in weapon can get if you charge it up. So be very careful of shooting the Favnir's um, absorber shield. Number three, the Favnir does not have resistance while in the air, so wait for the shield to drop before shooting at it. These are the three things I have used to take down the Favnir in my battles. Hope these tips were helpful in countering the Favnir. Thanks for watching my update 7.2 tip. Hey guys and gals, Edgar here with a short guide on countering Muromats. With the update 7.2, Muromats hit live server and it is the first titan that possesses a stealth ability. You might not see one very often as of now, but soon it may become popular. To begin with, there are two great counters for it that Kim offers us. Number 1, one regular robot use active module quantum radar and number 2, use passive module quantum sensor on titans. With both of these, the stealth ability of Muromats becomes almost obsolete. Now keep in mind, quantum sensor has a maximum of 350 meter range. So countering Muromats with another Titan can become tricky and hard. However, with Quantum Radar you don't have any range limitations. You can use for example a long range setup like Chaos Void Hawk and counter Muromats safely. Or you can also pick a robot with good defense capabilities like Typhon equipped with Wasps. Suppress Muromats during its stealth and blast him with powerful corrosion shots. Last but not least, the good old Dragon Outrun with its legendary pilot Yang Li can become a great counter for the Muromats. With that you'll have a build quantum radar during your entire flight. Equip it with Vipers or Avengers and watch a well-leveled Muromats get torn into pieces in a short amount of time. Once you start seeing an increased number of Muromats in battlefield then you'll know that it may be a good time to dust off the Outrun and put it back in hangar or consider building a new one if you don't already own it. Alright, that's my short guide on countering Muromats. I hope it was helpful. Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning back. I'm Lightning WR on YouTube, and we're going to talk about the black market chest and which ones you should open. So, the 1000, the 100, and the 10. Now, the 100 usually has a bunch of just kind of so so stuff on it. They got a few really good items in here, but most of it's not that great. All right, the 1000 chest, this is full of awesome items, but the little 10 key chest is something you're not going to want to neglect. All right, so what I usually do is I alternate. Every time I get a thousand keys, I might open the 1000 chest. And next time I get a thousand keys, I'm going to go ahead and open these 10 chests. For the boosters, guys, we got ability boosters, we got damage boosters, we got durability boosters, we got shield boosters. So if you're low on your boosters, everybody, make sure you open some of these and every time i open a thousand keys worth i probably get 10 20 30 maybe 40 boosters out of here i mean these things will really just boost you up on the boosters <laughs> you know what i'm saying there you're gonna get boosted on them boosters from opening these 10 chests now the one i never open i really never open this at all right the 100 chest or i mean yeah the 100 chest i mean you got a bunch of old school stuff you got a few things in here that are use useful but for the most part this is just old school stuff that's not really gonna get you anywhere when you're up in champion league and stuff like that the power cells in here are good they do have a couple boosters a couple microchips now the Tehran, that's a really good thing what's in these crates does change from time to time so it's not always the same items in here, guys. The Ansiles are cool. The Zeus's are kind of cool. Nothing special, though. But, yeah, the best thing in here, in my opinion, are the Tehrans. And, I don't know. I don't really bother with the 100 crates. So, open the 1000s to get the nice prizes. And open the 10s to get the boosters. So, bottom line. All right, bottom line. That's my little guide right there. Don't mess with the 100 crates. But alternate between these two, especially if you find yourself low on boosters, start opening those small crates because those boosters will really stack up. All right. So that's my guide there. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.
Later. Hey everyone, it's Manny and my Warabout 7.2 tip for you is that the tier 3 slash workshop robots have all gotten a third passive module slot now. You see the Strider right here, the Comijo, Lancelot, Inquisitor, Fury, and if I didn't forget one, Falcon, Cerberus, Hover, Raker, Hellburner, Raven, Butch, and Ao Guang all have a third passive module slot now. So anti-control, last stand, overdrive, nuclear amplifier, whatever you want to do, you can do it much better now after 7.2, so go ahead and enjoy the update. My tip for the 7.2 update is to utilize Orochi as a dedicated not only beacon grabber, but holder with dual Ansel. When you have two Ansels, you can block an immense amount of heavy attacks from metabots like Shell and even Titans. This thing will do its job and fulfill its purpose of not only capping the beacons with its speed, but also holding those beacons. Again, dual Ansel, my best recommendation. Lay on the heavy armor on there and add phase shift and you just become this durable tank. All right, regarding the training, if one day you wanna throw weapons on this thing, you don't have to change any training. Also, you don't need to put any Ansel dedicated training here for the pilot. We have destroyer Orochi, that just helps the rockets uh, you can destroy light reds with that, but the purpose of the build is to cap and hold the beacon. So armor expert will play a part in that. Roadhog, mechanic, wonder worker, clever survivor, and foolhardy. Those four right there is an amazing combination to just have this thing do what it needs to do against multiple reds and keep those beacons blue. Okay, you may be surprised. Phase shift will block an atom blast, right? But if you have glider, you can also heal. And if you're able to attain on mild damage absorber, it seems like the best F-type shield. It's another layer of protection to allow you to continue to buy more and more time. On mild damage fix, okay, it's 18% repairable durability. This one's another good one to add on to what already the glider gives you in, in repairability. And then on top of that, on high damage fix, another 48% repairable durability. Tested this numerous times, and this combination just works the 18% and the 48%. Control resistor, this seems uh, like the build where I can actually tell a difference where control resistor actually works. Uh, I would recommend this number one for this type of build if you are serious about holding those beacons against massive attacks, multiple reds. Overall, you will not be disappointed the speed of the Orochi obviously can get those to those beacons quickly, but then you want to hold them and there's strong bots out there, the shells, the titans, mirror mitts, everything is super powerful. You need to be incredibly durable to withstand all types of heavy attacks. All right, bring justice to your life and claim victory. Wishing you the best out there. Justice out. Hey guys, this is Kitty War Robot, and I've prepared three tips for you guys today. This is actually what not to do. And without further ado, do, let's uh, get right into the tips. On number one, there are a lot of Titan counters, a lot of regular bots that can basically take down Titans. So for tip number one, uh, don't drop your Titans too early. Look at this Fafnir go, it's taking out, it's taking down two Titans single-handedly. Now, Hawk is another one that you should really be careful. So if you see these kind of bots, don't drop your Titans. On number two, okay, forgetting your first beacon. There's always one beacon, uh, two beacons that are close to your spawn. And basically you're kind of competing for the center beacon in most maps. And um, don't forget the easiest beacon to cap. Maybe hang around near that beacon in case anyone is trying to overtake that beacon when there's chance. And my final tip for today is unnecessary amount of players going for that initial beacon. Now, I know people are going for that beacon points, but sometimes to win, you gotta go somewhere else where you're kind of needed. So that was it for me today. And I hope my tips are a little bit helpful. Hey, what's up everyone? This is AD Gaming and here is my tip for the new update 7.2. I'm going to talk about the importance of robot special abilities. As you guys know, most of the robots in this game have a special ability. For example, you can see the big juicy spider, the invader, has the suppression ability. So what I'm trying to say is that you need to know how to utilize your robot's special ability. 
and use it at the right timing. Like you see here in the gameplay, how I suppressed the shield and I was able to deal with him so easily. Another example like you see here, I am I'm facing the Falcon here, another big juicy target and you can see that he's reloading his weapon. So it is not smart to use my ability. This is why I'm saving my ability and I just suppressed this Demeter and prevented him from doing free damage to me. That's the thing. That was a little example to show you why every robot with special ability can be unique in this game. So you should appreciate every robot that you have on your lineup, okay? That was my little tip for you. So until next time, have a good day, slash night.